welcome to Nature News. My name is Erica, and today we'll be talking about a creature that sometimes gets a bit of a bad rap. We'll be talking about the striped skunk. Now, in Wisconsin, there are actually two species of skunk that can be found. There's the spotted skunk and the striped skunk. We'll be talking about the striped skunk because they are much more common, being found all the way from Mexico up to Canada, and they're the ones living in Chimicli Reserve. And so they're called the, the striped skunk because they have two large white stripes that go all the way down their back and up to their tail. And then they also have an itty bitty little stripe that goes from their snout up to their forehead. And so that's the striped skunk. They tend to be about, uh, live, up to, live up to be seven years old in the wild. And then in captivity, they can live up to 10 years. On average, the striped skunk is about the size of your, is your, of your typical ha house cat, and anywhere between 5 to 10 pounds. However, in the winter they tend to lose about half of, that, half of their weight because they're very inactive. They don't do true, true hibernation like most creatures do, but they, are, they do make great periodic trips outside to do some hunting and foraging. And then in February through March is when their mating season is. And then two months later, in around April, May, like right around now, is when their kids are born. They typically have about five to six kits per litter, and they're born blind and deaf. And then, even though they regain their eyesight within two weeks of being born, within days, these little skunks are able to shoot off their uh, infamous spray. And so they'll live with their mother in their den for about a month and a half uh, while she nurses them, and then they'll make their way to the surface to do some foraging. Skunks are omnivores, meaning they eat both plant and animal matter. And then they're also very opportunistic, meaning that they're going to eat whatever is most available during the season. And so in the spring and summer, that tends to be insects like bees or beetles, grasshoppers, and crickets. And in winter, they typically eat, eat a bit more meat like uh, mammals, small mammals like mice, uh, fish, amphibians, birds, even eggs. However, that's what, a sm that's what a skunk eats. However, there are many things that, like, that would like to eat a skunk. Now, unfortunately for the skunk, they have very short and stubby legs. And this means that they can't run very far or fast away from predators. And so they need something else to protect them from things that would like to eat them, like the great horned owl. And that's where their famous spray comes in. The spray is an oily musk that is emitted from two oil glands at the base of their tail. And so, this spray can be emitted as far as 10 feet away, and if it gets in a predator's eyes, it can cause severe irritation or blindness. However, besides that, it's mostly harmless, just really stinky and hard to get out. Skunks are very docile, so they aren't going to be very aggressive with anything they meet. They typically only, they typically only do their spray when they feel threatened. And when they feel threatened, they adopt a pose like this. They'll arch their back and stick their, and stick their tail straight up in the air and they'll stomp on their little feet and make some hissy noises. And so if you ever come across a skunk doing this, the best thing you should do is just to back away slowly and quietly and try not to freak them out. Now I mentioned earlier, we do have some skunks living in Chimicli Reserve. Skunks prefer habitat that's very open, but with lots of hiding spaces. So fields and prairies, woodland areas. And here at Chimicli Reserve, they've made their home around the Burrard Oaks area. Now before you decide to change up your walking route, consider this. Skunks are nocturnal, meaning that they're only active during the night, during the night when they're hunting and foraging then. Shemeika Reserve is closed at night, so therefore we have no reason to be running into them. In the daytime, while we're off on the trails, they're either doing some resting in their dens or hiding out in brush piles or logs. So we'll never ever, we likely never have a chance to run into them. And then not only that, as I mentioned earlier, they are very docile. So unless they're feeling extremely threatened, you shouldn't have any reason to feel the, feel the fear of being sprayed by them. Now, uh, whenever shrinkly managers um, are, are become aware that there is a skunk in the reserve, they tend to put out signs in the area just to give people a heads up saying, hey, there's a skunk here, um, nothing to fear, just keep an eye out and be aware. However, there's never been an incident of anybody reporting being sprayed or feeling threatened or attacked by a skunk. And hopefully that'll stay the same in the future. Skunks are really cool creatures, and I hope you learned a bit from this little presentation. And I hope you know that there's more than to them than just being a little nuisance. Thank you very much.